Gotta catch them all, Pokemon fans. Welcome to another Place Get Games video. And today we have Silver Lance S6H, the new Japanese set um, alongside Jet Black Spirit S6K. Um, that we're going to make up a whole bunch of the cards that is going in Chilling Rain, the English set coming out on June the 19th. So it's like a sneak peek for Chilling Rain, basically. Let's see all the new cards. Hopefully we can pull some of those awesome special art cards. I'm so hyped to, you know, get into these and, you know, see what cards we can find and see all the new artworks. And, oh my goodness, yesterday's box was absolutely insane. So if you want to see the the Jet Black uh, Pulte Guys box, please click the link above there and, uh, you know, check out that video when you get a chance. Um, but yeah, let's just let's just jump into the into the booster box. I'm so excited. Gotta catch them all. And here is the Silver Lance booster box. Sword and Shield S6H Japanese set. Um, I always like to just show you like the outside of the box. You know what it looks like. You know, I try and get a nice comprehensive look at the you know at the entire thing. So remember, if you want to see my Jet Black Poltergeist booster box, oh my goodness, the pools were amazing. Please, you know, click the link above and or you know click the link in the description and check that out. I'll probably plug it at the end so the link won't be above. It'll be it'll be in the description. The Jet Black Poltergeist box was absolutely stacked, and I'm hoping that we get you know as good pulls from this one. So let's open it up and see see what it looks like. So you got there the advertisements, you got the you know the sort of the QR codes. Probably the QR codes probably send you directly to the set list now. I think sometimes they would have a set list on the actual on the lid there and stuff. So yeah, I'll just take the take the flaps off just so it's not so much. Okay, box is slightly destroyed. That's fine. I didn't want that black bit overhanging the cards and the epic pools and stuff. So I'll just get a whole bunch of packs and we'll start cracking into them. So yeah, I was absolutely loving what we got from the um, Silver Lance set. So these packs will all be. Um, these packs will all be part of our, most of these cards will be part of our Chilling Rain set um, come June the 19th, so not long not long until we get those, and uh, yeah, I'm just very hyped to, uh, do you know what, I think this is this, <laughs> I'm very hyped to get Chilling Rain, so this card, when, when you, um, I think when your Pokemon gets knocked out, you can put an energy card from their Pokemon back into their hands, so really good in like Inteleon and like more control decks, nice feel there. Shout out to uh, Mr. Mr. Sveal, who sometimes watches the um, watches the videos, and a nice Agron. So yeah, I, I'm trying to remember like what the most epic pulls are from this one. There's a really nice um, special arch um, Ice Rider Calyrax. There's um, a Volcanium, I think. There's, oh, we want to put... So this Glade actually has... The, it's Glade, this, this Curlia actually has water duplicates, the same as Greninja. So uh, the, the old the old Frogadier from uh, Breakpoint, I think it was. You can actually search your deck for three other Curlia. And then... Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful frog. You can search your deck for up to three other Curlia and put them on your bench. So then you can evolve straight into the Glade or the new um, Gardevoir. Hopefully we can show you those. Nice, beautiful... Um, oh, Zerud, Zerud. We know, we know his name. It's Zerud. Beautiful Zerud Hollow there. I wonder if Zerud will ever become super popular. The problem is with Zerud. Um, we never got like a cinema release for the Zerud movie, and I don't even leave a comment below. Has the Pokemon like Forest movie? Has that been you know? Is that be is that been released anywhere in English yet? Oh, beautiful, nice ice form cast from that uh, really nice Porygon there. Cool Drowsy and oh and the Lycan Rog. So this one's really cool. So this um lets you do 10 more damage for every single strike Pokemon in your discard pile. So you're doing like just 90 just with one, I think. And then you can just do like really big damage potentially with you know more single strike Pokemon in your discard pile. The only problem is with this is that there is a new spirit tomb from the previous set which sh would shuffle back in the the spirit tomb would shuffle back in the Pokemon that are um um, you know, shuffle shuffle back in Pokemon from your from your discard pile back into your deck. So it might not be very good with that spirit team around, but I'm sure people are definitely gonna definitely gonna try it out and you know see see how it gets on. It's also nice to have a cool new Lycan Rock. We don't get those very often. Celio, um, Snova, oh, beautiful Teddy Ursa, and Porygon too. So I really want to pull the Hollow Porygon guys and show you guys and girls. I want to really show you that Hollow Porygon because it's actually done by um, Komoya, one of my favourite Pokemon artists. Oh, I think we got our first WTF epic pool here. It's Crustle. Sal Sal. It's another Sal Sal to go with our beautiful um, snowy cast form that we got, water cast form that we got from the um, from the other box, the Jet Black Polter guys. Beautiful. Nice Rolts and oh, it's the Ice Rider Calyrax. That's beautiful. So we got the Ice Rider Calyrax V there. So 
um, just like with the um, Shadow Rider. Yep, you can see there. Here's the here's the Shadow Rider Calyrax, and you know we now got the um, the water the water version to go with it. So he kind of like fuses with the Glasteria, the horse guy, and uh, yeah. I didn't play the video games, but I've seen the clip where you have to you know take Calyrax and then and then you know evolve it into the you know try and lure out lure out the horse and stuff. It's really fun. So put the packs there so you can see them. Yeah, but um, we, hopefully we can pull the Ice Rider Calyrex, and I can show you lovely people, the VMAX, the VMAX of the Ice Rider, and then hopefully I'll show you lovely people, you know, how awesome that looks. So, a nice Agron, a nice, that guy, Furfru, and the Single Strike Scroll. I think this is like 120 Snipe or something. So, oh, it, you know, it lets you do a fire attack, I think. That's probably why it's so strong, because it lets you attack off... So far as, I don't know, I can't remember the exact name. We actually did a full comprehensive video of all of the new cards revealed um, from these two sets. So if you click, aha, if you click the um, link above, you can see my full set review for both of these sets that will come out. They'll also be in Tune and Rain. We've got here a nice Melanie. So this allows you to attach a water energy from your discard pile to one of your um, benched Pokemon V. And you get to draw three cards. It's a bit like a more balanced version of Welder. It's definitely going to see a lot of play in... Um, it's definitely going to see a lot of play in water decks, especially alongside that water rider. Whoop. Oh, it's Tornado's VMAX. Let's go. Oh, that, you know, that actually looks really beautiful. I really like that Tornado's VMAX. So I think the attack is like 120 plus 120 more of some kind of requirement. I can't remember it being the strongest of the strongest of cards, but bear in mind, it is a str single strike Pokemon. So with the Houndoom, you can, you know, you can use the Houndoom from... Uh, battle styles, rapid, um, single, single, rapid, single strike master, and you know, power up the, power it up really quickly, and it just looks really awesome. I love the, I love the look on that. Because also, if you think about it logically, not many of your um, single strike Pokemon will be weak to electric, so it's nice that if you got, you know, a, a site you're coming up against a psychic deck, and then you, you know, you find a psychic Pokemon, you can just you, you can attack with a Tornadus instead of the, um, instead of the, instead of the uh, other one. So, oh, nice. Nice reboot there. Who's that one by? Gunjima. I've not, not heard of that artist before. There's so many nice arts in these sets. So I'm going to try and power through these a bit quicker now because we want to want to get to the epic pool because we want to see if we've got a special art in this box. So the last one um, had a special art in it and I'm really hoping that we can get another special art. But I will take like a, a full art, you know, full art trainer lady or um, oh, a nice dealing or any kind of similar thing. Oh, we got the... We got the um, the Tornadus V to go with our Tornadus V Max. It's just like the last box. We seem to be pulling pairs of all of the Vs and V Max. It's just really nice. They have got the nice Tornadus single strike there to go with our to go with our V Max, which is cool. Let's try and power what power for this. Yeah, I'm very excited. Um, random little plug: if you are watching this and you like, you want to see me play new Pokemon Snap, the new game coming out on Nintendo Switch, I will be streaming it this Friday. Please click the link in the description. Go to my um, Twitch stream, twitch.tv forward slash playskate games. Beautiful little um, Froslas. Yeah, Froslas. Um, and yeah, we're going to be streaming new Pokemon Snap. I'm very excited for it. I've got the pre order from Amazon, and yeah, I've not had my Switch um, or my capture card out in ages. So this will be the first time in like absolute ages that I've done a done a live stream from my Nintendo Switch. And I'm going to just do PC games or primarily Pokemon TCGO. You can see that there's Melanie in the in the background there with the Lapras. Really cool. It's a bit like the um, the Misty and Lapras from the from like the uh, the Unified Minds or the Japanese version of that. Uh, yeah, so I'm super hyped for new Pokemon Snap. I just I'm just going to be fanboying so much. I used to play Pokemon Snap, the original one on Nintendo 64 when it came out in the UK. Like, and it was just so much fun. Like, don't get me wrong, a lot of oh, nice nice Perloin. We'll talk about Perloin V very quickly. Beautiful artwork, and um, when you play this onto your bench, you can discard a tool card from one of your opponent's Pokemon. So this could be a nice little one, you know, one one Pokemon you could stick in your Eternatus deck. You know, you can search for it, the Scarlet Tool card whenever you want to. You're not going to be attacking with it because you need free energies for the. Um, you need, unfortunately, you need free energies for the um, for the attack. So that's a bit a bit on the heavy side for an attack requirement. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited to um, potentially test out that uh, Perloin in my Eternatus deck. But yeah, I was such a big fan of Pokemon Snap when it came out, and you know, a lot of the hardcore people are like, "Oh, it's, it's not a real Pokemon game. It's not." But it's all about the fun. It's just so fun, like just seeing all the Pokemon in the wild. And oh, there it is! There it is! So, guys, look, look at this gorgeous. This is probably my favorite Porygon card I've probably ever seen. It's a, I'm a bit biased because, as you can see there, 
Kamoya is my favorite, one of my favorite artists. So, but I absolutely love. You got like all the little microchips in the background, and oh my goodness, this just absolutely blew my mind when this absolutely blew my mind when I saw it. Um, like I saw it in the preview. So, yeah, I'm very happy to get one of these Paragons. Like it's not very, very, very rarely that I would potentially even consider grading a card that's not. <laughs> That's not a, you know, like an ultra rare or something, but like that Porygon is just so beautiful. I'm so tempted to grade that, but well, we'll have to see, we'll have to see, but I absolutely love that. That's going to go, probably that one's going to go in my Kamoya binder with all my artist cards, actually. Uh, oh, hello. Hello, Galarian Slowpoke. Kimura, wow. Because what, like, what I like also is like when I'm opening a um, Japanese box, like obviously I can't read the languages, so... I'm kind of a bit more focused on the arts and more of the collectability and more of like the you know the the art the artists and the artwork a bit more than than the um, than like what the cards do because obviously I can't read it. Okay, but I know what this does. So I think this is thirty times thirty more damage for every psychic energy on this Gardevoir. And then once during your turn, I think you can um, look at the top two. Like you can draw. I think you can attach an energy to one of your Pokemon and draw. Anyway, it's, it's it's a very strong card. Once again, it's in the set review, so check that out. And I'm looking forward to playing this alongside the Glade. There's also a obviously a Glade in this um in this set, a Fighting type Glade. But then you don't you don't need to put Fighting energies in it. So both both of the decks um you you don't need to you probably just run Psychic energy alongside the Glade as well. So. Yeah, and obviously Gardevoir is a very popular Pokemon anyway, so I'm excited just to excited just still to pull it. So we're halfway through the box, lovely people, and we haven't seen our secret rare yet. So here's Flannery. You just you can I think you can discard us um a, either a special a special energy or a tool card from one of your opponent's Pokemon. So and it's a it's a it's a single strike uh trainer. So you can use it with the new sort of versus seeker card that allows you to get a single strike trainer out of your discard pile and put it back into your hand, the item card. So um that could be a really nice combo for single strike decks just you know if you've, if you've got the versus seeker in there anyway. Celio, nice cast form and another one of those Melanies. So the good thing is I might need those for proxies anyway because we can't use them. We obviously Chilling Rain comes out on June the 19th. But, you know, we can't use them in real tournaments, even if they're, it's highly unlikely they're going to be any real tournaments in July, but um, in, in the UK at least. Oh, here we go. So this may not look like much. It, just may, it may look like to you a bit of snow. But this reads, all of, your, all of the Pokemon in play, the stadium, so all of the Pokemon in play with a rule box, aka like a V, a Prism Star, any Pokemon with a rule box has no ability, so Crobat can't use its ability. Um, Eternatus VMAX can't use its ability. Why am I sleeving up? I'm not going <laughs> to... Eternatus VMAX can't use its ability. It's a very strong stadium. It might be the strongest stadium we've had um, probably since Chaotic Swell came out in like Cosmic Eclipse or whenever it was. Like, It's a really strong stadium. I'm, I'm very excited to test it. Nice Rolts there. Beautiful, beautiful Rolts to go with the Curlia. Oh, and there's a Tauros. It's another. It's a single strike tour, as you can see there again. The single strike icon, which is really cool. Um, and I think this is like twenty more damage for every like damage counter on the Tauros. So it's a bit like the the Mad Bull GX from the old Tauros GX that we got in like Sun and Moon base ages ago. So it's quite nice. Might be a nice little inclusion in sort of single strike decks potentially. Nice Ursa Ring. Uh, oh, hello. Yeah, there you go. You can tell straight away. Boom, Kamoya. You know that's a Kamoya. Like straight away, it goes in the Ice Binder. Oh, lovely. And some more of these gloves that do thirty damage to fire Pokemon. Like this is so like unnecessary. But maybe one day we'll get tool cards, uh, um, item cards or something that allow you to search for tool cards again. And maybe 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 people will start using them. But can't see it for the um, for the near to long term. Okay, guys. I think we've got a glimmer of shiny. Have we got something WTF epic? Ooh. Oh, it's Volcanion V. Let's go. So I think if this has got like 10 damage counters on it, it can do 150 more damage. Um, so it's good against single prizes, I think. But I don't know if it's a very strong um, deck. Well, obviously, obviously, it's a single strike single strike Pokemon and it's fire, fire, colorless. So maybe you can put it in a single strike deck if you're playing those new, those new rainbow energies. But I've always been a huge fan of Volcanion. Um, Volcanion EX from Steam Siege was like one of my first ever decks with the... Um, with the power heater, I think it was called the first attack. So it's just nice to see more Volcanion cards. Um, I would have loved to have seen a special art Volcanion because I might have kept that in my in my graded collection potentially, but it's fine. So we've got we've had quite a few epic pulls so far, but we're still missing that secret rare or like gold card. And hopefully the hopefully the tornadoes isn't going to take up the uh, 
Hopefully the tornadoes isn't going to take up the space. Oh, sorry, I'm just checking for thing. If hopefully, have I misplaced one of my? Okay, yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to keep keep track of like artist cards so I don't have to sort sort through bulk later. Um, hopefully the um, the tornadoes V Max isn't going to take one of the spaces up. I think we got two V Maxes and yeah, we had Metagross V Max and um, yeah, so we should be okay. Oh, it's Galarian Bonita. Look at that. <gasps> So this is actually going to be a promo card in the Galarian um, Rap, sorry, Galarian Rapidash V box coming, I think, in like June, July. So keep an eye out for that in English. It's not it's, this one's not going to be in Chilling Rain, but um, yeah, beautiful Galarian Rapidash for all of the uh, My Little Pony fans, and also I'm sure Rapidash and horse. There's lots of horse fans that just like Rapidash and Ponyta anyway. So yeah, I'm. This box hasn't been as epic so far, but we're still waiting for that one big pull. Um, personally, I like, I think I like the, uh, what is it, what is it? Oh, we've got the secret rare special art Ice Rider Calyrax VMAX card. Oh my God. Oh, wow. That's two secret rares in two boxes, um, boys and girls. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting this. So you can see they're 87 of 70, 85 of 70. That's the secret rare. Oh, wow. Let's just take a nice... My, my camera's very bad at focusing on things, but... Oh, my phone. Oh, my goodness. But just look at that. You can see there, that's Ice Rider Calyrax. I hope I didn't say Shadow Rider earlier. Oh, my goodness. That is just absolutely gorgeous. He's, you can just see here, he's kind of like galloping over, over a village. Like, huge, like, horse guy. Oh, my goodness. And that is absolutely beautiful. I love that, and it's a lot well. It's, a, it's slightly more well centered than the um, than the other one. I'm not going to spoil. We got a special special art from our other box, but please um, check out my other box. Oh my goodness, we got, that's two special arts from two boxes. Holy macaroni! I was saving the the plinth for when we pulled um, like one of the more epic pulls. Oh my goodness! So yeah, that's that's two special arts from two boxes. That is. <laughs> we got the that, that I think that is the chase card from um, Silver Lance. I think there is a like a regular art V special art of the Ice Rider Calyrax. Sorry, a special art V Calyrax. But um, I think the the in Japan at least this that's easily like around. I think that's like one hundred and fifty dollars at the moment. It might go down obviously, but <clears throat> especially as more people get their boxes. So here's this is the Glade. This is 60 damage plus six. I think it's 60 times the amount of V Pokemon on the opponent's side of the field. So for two, you know, you've got your curlers. You're going to get three out using the water duplicates, and then you can just do a pretty amount of decent damage. And you've got it alongside the Gardevoir as well. So I'm excited to test that on my Twitch stream. Oh man, I, I was not expecting that, but I, I do apologize for any headphone users. <laughs> I, I, it was it was coming right late into the day, and I was probably I was probably gonna get like a full art, you know, one of the waifus that aren't like the popular ones, or just some kind of just some kind of like random like gold item card or something if I was lucky, like. But to get another special art card, oh my goodness, I yeah, <laughs> I might have to d dub turn that sound down a little bit, um, just to, when, when the pool comes out. Oh my goodness, and we got the regular Ice Rider V Max as well. Oh wow. Let's just get let's get all three of these together. This is just absolutely insane, guys. This box is stacked to the hilt. So yeah, there we go. Look at that. Oh my goodness, got all three three ice riders there. So I'll show you quickly. I should have actually looked at the attacks instead of just looking at the card, but because it was a special art, wasn't it? So so basically, this is really a really strong card. This is my favorite new card from the set. So from from Chilling Rain potentially. So this does ten damage. Plus, you can do 120 more for each water energy you discard. So you can discard up to two, obviously. You don't need to discard up to two, but you can do 250 damage for just two water energies. And we've got that new Melanie card, the welder for water energies. And, yeah, 30 times more damage for every Pokemon on their side of the field. So I'm really excited to test this with Melanie. It's easily, the, probably the easily the strongest attacker from the new set, um, from, from, all the, from all the new sets. So very hyped to give Ice Rider Calyrax a go. The only problem is it's weak to metal. But maybe if we're running Melanie, maybe we can run some sort of electric weak Pokemon alongside it instead. Who knows? And yeah, single strike energy. I think this either stops your Pokemon from being paralyzed or poisoned, and it counts as a rainbow energy. So very handy to use with single strike Pokemon. The rumors are it won't work with Houndoom, but um, we're going to have to wait for the English card text because um, you can't take, can't know for certain just yet. 
and we got the nice Galarian Slowbro. Uh, I got my Porygon. I got my Special Art. I'm so happy with this box. Um, so oh, a nice Saito. I really like Saito. He's one. He's one of my favorite artists. We'll probably keep this sleeved up. Anything that I've recognized or any of my like favorite artists, I always try and sleeve up. Oh my goodness! So we got some last. Can we get some last pack magic? I mean, it's probably unlikely, based on <laughs> based on the box so far. But you know, let's 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 see if we can get some last pack magic from this Silver Lance booster box. So there is actually um, there is actually like two or three more of these available on my website. Please go to playskitgames.com and you know check it out if you want to try and pull the beautiful Ice Rider Ice Rider guy yourself. So let's see if we can get any last pack magic. Slowpoke, Fur Fruit. Um, Simba and a bomber snow. <laughs> so unfortunately that we didn't get anything epic there from the last pack. But oh my goodness guys, this box was absolutely stacked. I cannot believe the WTF epic pulls we got. So we've got Galarian Rapidash, Volcanion, Gardevoir, beautiful Porygon, probably my favourite hollow in ages, Purloin, um, Tornado's V and V Max, the regular Ice Rider, the Lycan Rock, the V Max Ice Rider, Slowbury. But it's all about this gorgeous Calyrax V Max Ice Rider card. Oh my goodness! Two boxes, two special arts. I cannot believe it. Please remember to check out the video of the um, or down below of the of the other boot of the other box, the the Shadow Rider box, the Poltergeist box. If you want to see more, another special art card from the from we're going to get in Chilling Rain hopefully. Um, yeah, please leave a comment below. You know, <laughs> it's pretty obvious what your favourite pool is potentially, but you know, what are, what cards are you trying to pull from Chilling Rain or from the Japanese boxes? I'd love to know what you're up to. And yeah, please like and subscribe, and I will see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Remember, Pokemon Snap on Twitch this Friday. See you very soon. Gotta catch them all. A huge thank you to our lovely patrons. They get exclusive videos, market updates, Q and A's with me, and much more besides. Click the link below to join the Place Get Games Patreon and I will see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch them all.